Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I'm here with the April Kit Club. This club I'm going to say is a softer side of crafting. I love it. The more I worked with this collection was the more I was like, I feel like I'm getting a hug with every single card. There's something about sewing items and quilts and all of that that just gives that soft comfy feeling in a card it's like you sending a hug when you make a card with that theme so loving this kit club the deluxe caboodle bonus this month the deluxe caboodle is the entire kit club offering if you decide to go for it and i do have one card that includes seven clubs yeah seven clubs in one card and the card does not look crazy <laughs> So, this is the Deluxe Caboodle bonus and it's called Pins and Needles Sentiments. You get three sentiments that have the embossed details in it with the sentiment and it's curved and it does come with a little banner. It's three and a quarter inch wide, okay? The sentiments are, so many thanks, stitched with love, handmade for you. This bonus will be the freebie that's given to the Deluxe Caboodle subscribers. Yay! Right now, Kit Club is open for new subscriptions for any clubs, whether you want just small die of the month or large die of the month or the stitch die of the month, which is over the top fabulous. Your window to subscribe will be from April 6th to the 27th. Okay. As I always say, try not to wait too late, meaning going into the 21st to 22nd to then get into a club because there are limited quantities and clubs do sell out and do close, okay? Then your only chance of getting these items would be once it goes into the past kit club, you're going to pay much more money and you're going to pay shipping on top of that. All these clubs, whether you subscribe to one club, Deluxe Caboodle, you're going to get free shipping and you're going to get a discounted price. Your best deal will be the Deluxe Caboodle because it's 60% off because everything is all nicely bundled. Um, Anything else going on at Spellbinders? <laughs> <laughs> there is, if you spend $125, you'll get an automatic $25 subtracted in your cart. I don't believe it includes Kit Club, though. I'm talking just regular purchases, okay? Kit Club is its own thing. It's already discounted, so you're not going to get a further discount on that. All right, now let me show you some of these offerings. Okay, crafters, what you're looking at is the Deluxe Kubota Club. This will be everything that you're going to get, including a free hot foil roll. This will always accompany the Glimmer of the Month is a free hot foil roll. Wax Seal of the Month, you'll get a full pack of Wax Seal beads too. The color this month, Cloudy Sky, and the Glimmer Hot Foil Roll, Moon Dust. Very pretty, isn't okay, it? Okay, so let's start off with the Large Die of the Month. This is one that I normally would subscribe for, sometimes by itself, depending on what my budget was like. And then other times I would do small die, large die with glimmer and then add on an additional club, etc. Large die of the month is Pins and Needles Jar Dies, which features this awesome jar. Is continuing the line of this theme of tucking something into something. I so love it. First, we had Whale in a Bottle. You have the bottle as a focal point and then you put your scene in it. Then we had this one. Is it honey bee jar, honey jar? The honey jar, love and adore this. Then for Easter, we have the basket too. These are all large dies of the month. See how everything is like tucking or creating a scene inside an oversized vessel. Let's call it a vessel. <laughs> so basket, jar, whale in a bottle. I love them all, so fabulous. So now, for the crafting, the softer side of crafting, there is the pins and needles jar. I love this theme so much. You're looking at five and three quarters of an inch tall. So this is over five and a half, okay? You can crop it if need be. And the width is three and a quarter inch wide. Here is the top of the jar. So if you wanna keep it at five and a half or an A2 card, which will now be at five and one eighth, you would cut along that top part see there's an embossed line here and an embossed line so when you run it through your die cut machine you could just take a pair of scissors and cut this top part off this top part which is like a little cushion is like a little pin cushion on top of the jar i love this so much <laughs> and then here is a jar like just to close a jar so this jar is doing double duty 
it is fitting within this sewing theme and then also with everything else because no. first thing coming to my mind is like summer like a summer drink in a jar type thing to have that theme so this is really cool and at this size this could be a shaped card also love that and at this size as well put this in your scrapbook put it in your mini albums too look at this space right here this can fit a nice photograph too, if you wanna theme it out that way. You're at four inches tall, and your picture could be by like a four by three. At four by three, that's also a journaling card. So you could have the jar and then have a journal card in here from a pattern paper pack. Thumbs up again. Tell you, there's lots of inspiration with this. Love this. You get some safety pins, an open one, a closed one, needle, a pin. Here is some cross-stitch floss, the little, um, labels for the floss that's here there's a thimble this is the floss also wrapped around that floss spool and then these scissors let's take a moment for these scissors i'll give you the measurement of my example but these scissors are phenomenal love 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 super easy to put together i had a blast with this the ones that i had die cut they're all in foil <laughs> i just was like ooh, pulling out all my foil cardstock and then this is just floss, thread, here's a button. This piece that looks like a teardrop, that's the top of your pin if you want to have the head of your pin in different colors. See how the top of this pin on the Barely Art glue is green? That's what that is. In this die alone, look at the well thought out composition of this die. Love it, small die of the month. This one centers around all the fabulous stitch dies that Spellbinders has. Here is the floss, almost to size too. Five and a quarter inch tall, so it will fit on an A2 card and the width, half an inch. And here, that's the floss color detail. So you could do one color here and then a lighter color here or vice versa. Right here, these are those little labels on a floss. Here's my totally Tiffany sorting tray for floss. Not all colors of floss, but I love the pinks and the purples and the little teals, okay? I'll go ahead and put a link below for this. So you pull it out. So this is what floss looks like. And the floss I like to use is DMC. So you see how it has the label there and then this bottom piece? Well, the die is representing this piece right here. So floss is a little bit taller, but you want to have it fit on an A2 card. Then you get these stitched sentiments. Love that. For you, hello, happy, and thanks. All with that stitch detail and a great font. Let me give you a measurement on that thanks. Three and three eighths of an inch wide by one and a quarter inch tall. This would be nice too if you wanted to bundle up. Let's say you have a little box like this and you put some floss in here for a friend. You could then make a cover on it using this and then put, you know, for you. This is really a fun die set too. So small die of the month is faux stitched sentiments and floss dies. Love. Alrighty, next. Stitch die of the month. Runaway hit. Love, 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 love this die. This is called stitched wall hanging. So here's an embroidery hoop with detail. So you get the outer oval, that inner piece gives a nice little like four rows of emboss and then another cut die. These two dies, that inner die and that outer die, if you put all three together, you get a nice frame. You can use this outside of this die set then and use it in just general crafting too. Thumbs up. It is four and three quarters of an inch tall by three and five eighths of an inch wide. So that's a little bit over three and a half inch, okay? You get two flowers. A large flower and a small flower. Going to give you that measurement on that flower. One and three quarters of an inch. You get this nice leaf and then you get a leaf here. I thought I was only going to stitch two. I ended up stitching like five or six of them <laughs> because they were very easy to stitch. Did not stitch those centers. I was like, eh, do you have to do stitching? No. Can you get this set and then substitute these flowers? Most definitely. You can come on in with club blooms because if you don't do stitching, but you love this whole theme because like I said, it's the softer side of crafting and you love that embroidery hoop look and all the other goodies that are here, then you can substitute. If you're in a pinch or you're in a rush, I would substitute the flowers if I don't have time to stitch it. But I do love these little flowers though. It's a very clean, simple flower, 
but it's so pretty when you stitch it up. <laughs> so I ended up making a bunch of them. And I like that Spellbinders included this piece right here when you don't have time to stitch this, but you can still bring in, you know, that green foliage. Then up here, those are berries, two different types of berries. Very cute too. You get for you. This is the top of your embroidery hoop. That's thread again, but much smaller. So I use this in here and then outside of. You get a little baby tag and this goes in that tag, but I didn't even use this, but I love that it's there when I'm ready to use it. So love. Glimmer of the month, which comes with the roll of Glimmer Hot Foil in Moon Dust. This one is very interesting. I was like, oh, this is cool because you can glimmer all these stitching styles. There are six stitch styles. You can see their slant, wider slant. This one you could use for masculine cards because even looking at it, doesn't it kind of look like a tire track? So you could really have fun with this one. So I like that they included that here. You can glimmer just one of the um, strips or all of them. Then you have this little cross stitch one. And then I love this one with the down arrow that has nice looking texture. And then this one, which I don't know what it is. It's like a waffle print kind of. Five and three quarters of an inch tall. The width, you're looking at under half inch, about three eighths of an inch. You do get this nice little curved banner here and some sentiments. So thankful, happy stitching. Stitched with love, you are so amazing. Let me take out my craft stacks. Been loving craft stacks. Here it is, glimmered in white cardstock. Oh, I did upside down. Hold on. <laughs> okay, crafters, I obviously just threw them on. So I have so thankful here. Upside down, this is black cardstock, opaque white hot foil roll. Happy stitching. You are so amazing and stitch with love. Isn't this fabulous? It doesn't use a lot of cardstock, but when you are going to use it, make sure that you space it out. Like I probably shouldn't have done this one because I have a feeling that one might not be long enough. Here it is cut out. Let me show it to you like that. See how pretty that banner is? And what's fun about this, if you angle it, like really angle it, it has a nice ribbon look to it, right? If I keep it like so, it looks like just a curved sentiment that you see on a card. Once I went like this, I was like, oh, it's starting to look like ribbon, which so fits this theme. Yes, I was having fun. Here's the thimble from the large die of the month. I have all sorts of little bits and goodies. That's from the better press of the month. So is this. Love craft stacks. You just store it in here, stack them up, and you are ready to go. Here is a better press of the month, stitched for you. So you get the scissors, and a lot of the elements in here does have dies. The spool here to hold the floss comes with that die. This, you can better press in any color. Love that. The thimble, and then you get three sentiments. Stitched just for you, sending stitchy hugs, Best stitches on your birthday. These three sentiments I didn't use. Let me see if you guys know me very well. I have a Glimmer Hot Foil with a coordinating die. This doesn't have a coordinating die. It's okay. <laughs> you don't have to use every single element. But I do have a card that does have seven of these clubs on it. That's the first card I'm going to show you. I felt like I was back doing the advent calendar where I would challenge myself by bringing in and then when I was finished with the card and I counted all the clubs in there wow this is seven clubs yay two and three quarters of an inch tall by one and three eighths of an inch wide scissor three and a quarter inch tall by one and a half so it's in that realm and all of this I ended up glimmering so I glimmered the three elements that come with the coordinating die. When I glimmered this it actually wasn't hard to glimmer. Glimmered this first then I would just put a little section of foil right here after I had glimmered it for this part in the middle and did different colors. Had fun with this. So better press of the month stitched for you. Clear stamp and die of the month. Happy stitching. Love this. Look at all these fabulous sentiments. Not everything comes with a coordinating die, but a lot does. Happy comes with a die high. The heart, the scissors that says handmade. I think this is so much fun. I'll show you how I use this too. Three of the sentiments come with a coordinating die. Stitch just for you. One stitch at a time. These two I used. And the third one, thinking of you with each stitch, is the third one that has a coordinating die. I love the clear stamp and die like this because give you the opportunity to do a few things. 
front of the card with a sentiment, inside the card with a sentiment, and the back of the card with a sentiment. Yay! And so on one example, I have it all like stamped out. I'm seeing that I could put this on the back of every single project you make. It's a pair of scissors, so it doesn't have to be stitching only. It could just be crafting. It represents handmade. Love this. Very, very smart to do that. And I love this cross stitch heart. That's such a fun detail. So you can get the clear stamp only, but for a few dollars more, not a lot, I'd get this. This alone is great but because this has a coordinating die if you want to do it as soon as you finish the card you're like oh i know exactly who i'm going to give this to this has a coordinating die so you could just stamp it die cut it you could stamp and die cut a bunch of these then and just have it ready to go stick it on the back of your card yay <laughs> you know i love that right next stencil of the month this one is also floss and you get, I believe, five stencils in here. Rainbow floss background. This is super cool. I'll go into more detail with my example. But the floss, again, you're looking at five and a quarter inch tall, okay? So this one will take up a nice amount of real estate on an A2 card. And then you just put a sentiment. Done. So the wax seal of the month comes back to that same cross stitch heart. A little bit smaller. But this one also includes a needle. I think this is so sweet. It's called cross stitch heart. So you have it here in the stamp. And also with the wax seal. Why did I put this here? <laughs> you get the cloudy sky wax bead, which is reminiscent of Spellbinder's partly cloudy cardstock. Okay, this same dusty blue colorway. So but super pretty. Boy, did I have fun with this one. I made three examples of this in three different colors. I used every single one of them on cards. I have eight cards to show you guys, okay? Next, another favorite of mine, the embossing folders. The 2D embossing folder of the month is called Faux Stitched Petal. These are oversized embossing folders, five and a half inch wide, eight and a half inch tall. This is the 3D embossing folder of the month and is called One Stitch at a Time, love. So this one is needles with a little floss through it. And this one is a design, which is so much fun with the look of Spellbinder stitching dies. Let's go into my examples because I'm just too excited to show you all the excitement. <laughs> First up, crafters, this is my miracle card. <laughs> this card would be like if you go to a restaurant and you say, give me the works. This is the works of Kid Club. Seven clubs are here. And does she look crazy? No, she doesn't. I so love this card. Let me tell you what inspired this entire card. I had glimmered two versions of this with the stitch detail. I took these three rows together. And the beauty of this, you can line them all up just hitting each other, all three, tape it down with some yellow tape and then glimmer it. And it just stays together. So I did it this way. First time I had kind of spaced them out, but with this one, put them all together, glimmered it, black cardstock, opaque, white, hot foil roll. So I had this there. And then this beautiful little elegant die came into play. This is from the latest release. This is called the Mirrored Arch Labels Die from the Mirrored Arch Collection. I will link my Mirrored Arch video here so you can take a look. Cut out in the back here, Spellbinders Fog cardstock. Cut the black cardstock. This popped off of that, okay? So it's just two of them, not the largest one. The largest one here is an A2, four and a quarter by five and a half inch. I'm coming in maybe two or three to give me enough space. I had to go a little bit wider because I have these two elements coming like off of this okay item one from kit club is the glimmer of the month item two was the 3d embossing folder of the month one stitch at a time and i came in with black cardstock look how pretty this is it's still daytime so you can see all the detail love 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 use that so that's the second item i glimmered this about five times so here you're seeing two of it the little spool See how I have the floss here in the center? I just put a little strip here. This roll I'm using, I'll put the name of it here. It's a four pack. It's the Pastel Satin Metallics. Love that. So this is that roll and it works so well with this floss if you glimmer it. It's not pretty. I have pink and teal and this dictated all these colors that you're seeing here. I came in with a wax seal. There we go, cross stitch. Love, so this is item number four. Look at this pretty colorway. This is from one of the new wax seal bead. This is that mix pack called Teal. All I did was take out two of them. I didn't use all of them, as you can see. I used this color 
and this color. Two of each, two of that, two of that. It does have a mixed feel, but not crazy. And then I came on with some silver deco metallic pen and just colored that in. Look how pretty that is. Look at that little needle, right? <laughs> so love. In the background that you're seeing underneath it, because this is stitching, I came in with some Vivant. Vivant is a brand that Spellbinders carries. It's luxury, ribbon, cord, and twine. In my example, I'm using two of this one. This is called Fin Cord. I did purchase this. Spellbinders did not send me this. They sent me a sampler pack. And from that sampler pack, oh, I've been loving all things Vivant. <laughs> I especially love this. This is their cord. I even love the, just the packaging alone. I Sometimes I don't want to open them up. So super pretty. And I did place an order because I had recently used this. I ordered a whole roll. Look at the roll of the ribbon. Five eighths of an inch ribbon. It has a special name. I think it's like satin double-sided ribbon. Really, really pretty. You can glimmer on this too. Notice the color matches. This one is called Steel Blue. So Spellbinders had sent me like a sampling of all the ribbons and it wasn't super big. So I went in and I bought this one. Look how big this spool is. I'll put the length of it too for the ribbon. I just had to show you. So super pretty that, yes, the price tag isn't $1.99 for it. It's like eight, $9, but you are getting a gigantic roll that can last for a while and is two-sided. So it's not like there's a backside and all that. And this, oh, super pretty. So I took some of this in silver. My next example will be the gold. And there is a copper one to this as well. I'll put a link for Vivant at Spellbinder so you can look at all the offerings. Just super pretty. So I sort of did this whole little loopy thing with it. While I was on my little wax seal starter kit, I just sort of held it there, poured the wax. I'm not a pro at doing this, but it certainly looks like I am. <laughs> I was having fun with this. I so love this fabric element with all of this. I love this wax seal. Look at that wax seal. Uber, uber pretty. So that's four with the wax seal. Five is a small die of the month. Came in with thanks. There. Six, large die of the month. Pins and needles. Does have the pin. The floss is this one. This one was too much. So I went with that one. So all from the large die of the month, I only used the pin, but it is there. And then the stitch die of the month helped me to finish the card. I have this little piece here. Then look at the flowers. Then look at that. I am so loving it. And then this inspired this. This now dictated these colors for my leaves and a little shadow on the thanks. That thanks is popped up with this dark teal. The white cardstock you see here, this is brushed white cardstock. So love. In the centers here, I have some... Crystal mixed gems, the opal part, and then here's a crystal part on that black cardstock. Seven clubs. <laughs> and one foundation die. <laughs> Crafters, you know I was having a ball with this, right? When I finished it, I said to myself, wait a second, how many clubs did I use in here? This is seven clubs. It doesn't look like it, but it is seven clubs. I just showed you that it is seven clubs. Could I have gone into maybe this one? I could have probably used this one on the inside and the back to stamp out. So it could just keep on going. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I love this. And I love that this pink picks up back to that. I think what allowed me to finish this was the theme of that black, white, pink, and teal. And once I kept the colors here, everything else just came into play afterwards and i was just having more and more fun so that's card number one very proud of this card because it's really bringing me back to the advent calendar when i would challenge myself seven clubs yay and it doesn't look crazy love that <laughs> <laughs> up next crafters large die of the month so love this one features two clubs so it's the large die of the month and the embossing folder of the month so in the background on this 5x7 card, you see the embossing folder, faux stitch petal in navy cardstock. Look at that detail. So super pretty. Pretty much every element here is used here. There are my safety pins. Look at the safety pins. I was having a ball with all my foil cardstock. Look at those scissors. Hello. <laughs> Love these scissors. They are just so fabulous. Four and a quarter inch tall by two inches once you assemble it. 
cut this piece in whichever color you want and then you layer right here on top of it right there it's the easiest thing then this pops out but i did not use this part for that center i used the button there are the buttons that's the pin top there it is there's a needle see my little cushion on the top but you can cut it out and shorten that bottle if you want to use this bottle for anything else and notice that there are some lines here. I mean, if you want to cut and then have it where you could turn it into a shaker, possibly. I can see you could cut this along these embossed lines and make an organic looking shaker. It doesn't have to be an exact rectangle to do it. Here is the floss, which I did not use. I was putting it on here and it was looking just way too busy. But here I have the spool. This is the die cut version of this. Isn't that fabulous? So you have both options. So this is the better press of the month and large die of the month. There's the floss. I did put a little bit of inking just to give it a little bit of shadow. Put those two there. This measures two and a half by one and a half, okay? So don't think you can only do it this way. You can definitely do it glimmer and you can definitely do it better press. In the better press, actually, you do get a registration for it. I forgot to mention that. So you do get a registration to line this up. And I will link my Better Press hack video here so you can definitely see how to work those place and press registration with ease and without frustration. Look at the little floss. See the little color here? And then the thimble is there. This is just so pretty. So this is perfect for Happy Mother's Day. That sentiment is from Yana's Let's Celebrate collection. Let's celebrate sentiments better press which i have pressed this out but i've also glimmered it black cardstock with matte silver hot foil rolls are usually silver i don't mind mixing gold and silver it doesn't bother me metallics are all neutrals this jar that is spellbinders glacier cardstock here this silver brushed silver cardstock okay brushed white cardstock again so i have brushed white here brushed white here has that pearlescent look but it's not crazy shiny this color you're seeing i believe is like rose gold foil from my stash i think it's anna griffin i like the rose gold here it's a little bit more softer and then this is cardstock also from spellbinders from the heartfelt collection just a little piece right there so love little yellow up next crafters small die of the month two cards i had die cut this in kind of a rainbow colorway and I also had some extras. I wasn't sure how the colors were going to look. So I just die cut a bunch and I did dark in the back, light on top. You can reverse it if you wish. When I had laid them all out, these three looked separate from these. Plus this did fit on this card. I did go a little bit over an A2 with the height because as usual, I love to see my embossing folder. <laughs> That's just my thing. I love this embossing folder. So this one is the 3D embossing folder, one stitch at a time in navy cardstock again. Yes, I'm loving the navy. Card one, card two. So this was the first card I made. First card in this whole kit club had to be the large die of the month because of that jar. My seven clubs, this was now once I got comfortable with everything, then I had fun playing. So at first, this was looking very close to what the instructions on the back of your packaging. The back of these packaging for the kit club will always give you an example and like a little direction, which is so nice. So this one is very close to that. Once I got the feel for it, I have to get the feel for a die first, then this came into play, okay? So it went from navy to navy and then these colors. Here I kept the label close to what this looks like. You see? As a matter of fact, when I was making it, I had a few of these out in different colors just for inspiration with the floss. But you see how it's like much bigger? So fun. So I made this card first and yes, I went into this one where I took one long one and just cut it in half with my trimmer and did it this way because I only had three. So I was like, how can I still make a card with this? And I really love this card. This is a clean card for me. So happy with that. But let's talk about this one first. Happy layered up a few times black hot pink foil a lot of foil came into this series i loved it i was so happy to pull out all my foil again anna griffin foil in hot pink and then white cardstock on the top birthday is from this beauty 
Small Die of the Month from September 2021. This was retired by Spellbinders and brought back. It was recently on sale. If you want to get this set, which is one of Jennifer McGuire's favorites, it's called Layered Mix and Match Sentiments. Here, I did the happy with the stitching, then the birthday down here. Then the flowers here. That's the flowers you see here. I just played with the flowers right here. Never ever did before. But this time I was like, eh, why not just put some flowers with it too? So I just layered up the small one on top of the big one and had fun. And the little leaves are in here too. So this one, if you do like it and it's been on your wish list, get it sooner than later. It already discontinued, retired, came back one more time. I think after this one last time, because this is 2021, Kit Club item can only be purchased at Spellbinders. Crafters, it's not going to come back again. So if you like it, I think it's a great font. I like that it's big but not too big it does have nice sizing to work on things i love to have sentiment sets that are bold then also small then also elegant i'd like variety in my sentiments because depending on what the card looks like then i can vary it or i always compose everything first then sentiment afterwards i know that's just my thing so i may have a little space me when i finished the card and just had happy alone i was just looking at it going oh no i need something else <laughs> thank you this came in to help me this one now is fun so it does have the small die does have the happy but this happy is different than that it looks the same but it's the one from the stamp so now this is the clear stamp and die use the coordinating die to cut it out look how pretty this is just stamp this out with some black pigment ink i also stamped out you make me so so it's you make me so happy so you make me so is right here did cut this out with a glimmer i want to say it's birthday unboxing one of these little sentiment strips i just cut it out with that i didn't bring it with me because i just used a little die out of it and this white card stock in the back this is an a2 card i wanted to have fun with this one so this is a card that i purposely stamped everything before i started working on it so it was these three floss colors that inspired this whole card you open the card up there is the cross stitch heart there is the stitched just for you flip the card on the back look at the handmade look how that stamps so solid love 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 when you're making a card like this if you are going to use pigment ink like me crafters when you stamp it just put a post-it over it and then continue working. Stamp this. I put a post-it over it. Because sometimes with pigment ink, this thing takes a long time to dry. You'll close this up. It'll transfer over to here. Even sometimes it's regular ink. So I use this for the front, inside, and the back. This is a fabulous set right here. This stamp just proved it to you. I was like, oh, this is a creeper. Love that you can do inside, outside, back. Yay. And then I came in with the... Stitch die of the month, I did these two, but the leaf, I decided I wanted to do something different. So let's take a look at the leaf for a second. So here it is over here, but I wanted to do something that I was inspired by. I saw a Spellbinders maker. She shopped her stash and I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to give that a try. So she shopped her sealed by Spellbinders standalone die stash. I shopped these two. This one is sealed bouquet that leaf there and then this one from sealed sprigs there i was like yeah i need to start doing that more often i keep this in a scrapbook.com storage envelope all my sealed dies and so i'll only pull them out for certain things but i'm like no i need to start using these elements because these elements are fabulous look at that flower too i could have done this but i did have these two ready to go because it is sewing i brought back in the stitching but look at that it works and i brought the leaves in white to only keep the colors for the floss and the flowers even here i did a neutral dark gray spellbinders graphite cardstock and then i put some of the crystal mix gems this part here on it as well crafters i'll say it again i was having fun way too much fun with last month's kit club march with the storytelling that was out the gate winning fabulous this one i had to build up to the fun but once i got my ball rolling <laughs> i was like wow this is fun 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 hence seven clubs in one card <laughs> so first time i used the small die of the month kept it like how it looks on the packaging standard then came back again and had fun so you see how you can really stay within here 
and explore and just keep going. So this one is not as straightforward to me like the storytelling where I was just like, yes, yes, yes. But it built up and I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, this is a good one. This is fabulous. And everything here has that theme of soft hugs. What stitching does for you? Somebody gives you a quilt. Somebody gives you cross stitch, knitting, quilting, sewing. Everything has that feel of love and hugs. And I think when you use it on a card, it translates to that same feeling of stitching. Am I making sense? I hope I am. Because that was the feeling I started to get the more I worked with it. When I worked with it here, it was straightforward. Oh, this is a great jar. Oh my goodness. But then once I started to put aside just looking at the die straightforward and going in with the theme of what stitching really is overall, if you do so, you'll know what I mean, obviously, right? It really does evoke emotion. And that's why when we stitch on paper, for those of us that can't so-so, this gives us that feel more accessible and easy. That's why I always recommend to you guys try the stitching on paper because it really is calming. Now, this club is focused on it. It's like calming with a big hug and love. So when you give these cards to folks, it's filled with emotion just looking at them. It's like, oh. Oh, thank you. Did you make this? Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> even giving it to a crafter, a crafter giving it to a crafter. They'll look at this because crafters, once you give a card to a crafter, because I've seen it all the time, they'll pause and look and go, wait a second. And then they start to go into it. I would definitely use this club for cards for crafters, for sure. Out the gate, I would play with this because I could just see the textures and the elements would speak to them and then the subconscious loving hugging thing like this is a hugging a card for you oh love winner <laughs> love this i tell you and this stitching die out the gate winner went to the stitch die of the month here all right crafters i was having yes more fun this is great card stock in the back with vellum on the top now you know when i'm doing that and embossing with vellum I'm like just so inspired and getting too creative. That started happening. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie. It happened. This is a 2D faux stitch petal. I will link the vellum that I'm using. It's from Simon Says Stamp, okay? Look how fabulous it is. Embossed with no problems. I did it twice, actually, in this collection. I did it with the 2D embossing folder and the 3D embossing folder. No cracking. Yay. <laughs> You have to use a heavier weight vellum. It's not just a thin vellum, a little heavier weight. But look how pretty that is. Underneath here, I'm just using double-sided tape, okay? This is an A2 card. Few things going on here, yet again, because I was in a mood. <laughs> this is a clear stamp of the month. Take it one stitch at a time, cut out with the coordinating die. After this card, I did make this one, okay? This one is where I took it further with the front and the back and all that. But here this is with gray pigment ink that's black pigment ink so you see how it softens it by just going one shade away it's the same thing like better press black ink and better press thunder ink thunder just has a softer side to it that's why i love gray that's why i was waiting for better press to come out with that gray ink for the longest time next i layered up the dye brush silver up here for the top this little tab goes underneath so what is exposed is this top part so this is the tab just to attach it to that oval this is all three layers cut those two and then this one here the inner cut line is for this piece now this piece was inspired by the last club along video that live february and march absolutely worth watching okay the technique i learned using a better press background Floral View, love this one. She goes on sale often. She came out when Better Press was first released. Something you can put in your wish list. I love using her. Here she is pressed out on one of my favorite cards. Porcelain Cotton Card, Black Better Press Ink. So that's it pressed out. Here it is doing a dry emboss. I used my universal plate system. Because I don't dry emboss with my Glimmer Hot Foil plate or with my Better Press, it was inspired by watching Yana do it and I believe Jennifer McGuire also doing it. You use your embossing mat. This is Spellbinder's Waterfall cardstock. So after I did the dry emboss with this Better Press plate, but I splattered first before I put this over here to look like suede. So I covered up part of my splatter, but you can still see 
little bits of white and silver, the flex in here. I'm using Spellbinder's new Splatter White Opaque Watercolor, which is bleed proof and high coverage. This is a very concentrated bottle. So yes, you will get it and it will look pretty much empty, but think of it like super ultra concentrated. So a little dab with some water goes a long way in terms of splattering on a project. And Spellbinder says this will last you a while. Watch Spellbinder's video on their YouTube channel about this amazing product, okay? Because they go into detail about it. Also, from my recent haul at Spellbinder's, so I not only got a new ribbon, I also got all three of these colors. This is the Yasutomo metallic watercolor. This one is silver and I believe the reddish gold is back in stock. Put a little bit of water and then pick it up and I flickered. So here I have the silver and this is a great little ceramic pot. Look how pretty this is. A lot of product is in this combined with this. Okay. Love, love, love. So I did all that splatter. So I took my salvage patina distress oxide and just run it on the top here. See how the Distress Ink, the oxide, gives that powdery finish? So it almost looks like a fabric suede, kind of like a pin cushion. Yeah, I was having fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I told you I was having a blast. Just by putting that Distress Oxide, I was like, oh, this is super pretty. You could probably use the Distress Oxide out here. It gave that look of almost like suede fabric. You can see it? So this technique was inspired by both Yana and Jennifer McGuire. Give it a try. It's dry embossing. Love. Then here are my flowers all stitched up. You can see I have my flowers in yellow, salmon pink, and a corally color. Then here, those are the berries. Only this berry I used. The leaves. Here are the stitch leaves. And then here's just the leaf by itself. Did my little collage here. Then put one flower over here with more greenery. Still, I needed something. So then I came in with some green gems. In the centers, this is opal gems, okay? I did not stitch any of these centers. I was just like, ah, that's overkill. <laughs> and you know, to be honest with you, why I don't stitch it sometimes? When you have the fabric, and I'm going to stick this little gem on it. The gem comes with an adhesive in the back. It sticks better on paper than it does on fabric. So that's another reason why I was like, okay, just skip it. I just leave it as texture. I think it's fine. It doesn't bother me. Love the beauty of that. Choose a stitch or not. This is the Builder Wreath die. Just that center for the bigger ones. I didn't cover it here. So if you want to add that extra layer so you don't have that open space, then I use something like that. You see what I did? Yellow, gray, then the gem. Here is just gray and the gem. Shopping my little die cut stash too. <laughs> Love this card. Love the vellum. I think it has such texture and fun and says stitching, but yet pretty with the flowers. So love. And I used white floss and a uh, pinky peachy floss, okay? Love that technique. You got to give this a try. Up next, this is another clean card. This card, again, is inspired by the Glimmer of the Month. This is me using this one and these two spread out. So you see how there's a space between them? The second time that I glimmered it, I brought them closer together. You see how the pattern is close? Here is more spread out. And then I use this one at the bottom across. So I glimmered it once this way with all three bars, and then I glimmered one across, but where they intersect, this design with these three look absolutely crazy, but then I had put it on this beautiful Spellbinders Velvet Rose cardstock, and I did not want to lose my cardstock that I just glimmered on. This is with the Satin Metallics Hot Foil Roll, my favorite color, the dark gold. That's what you're seeing here with that Velvet Rose. If you love this colorway, see on the Velvet Rose how it's giving you a lot of rose gold? Yeah. <laughs> so over here where it got crazy when these designs intersect, I put a nice big wax seal on it. Why not? And saved the card. And I think... That wax seal here with the design is so working. I think I used more wax beads here. That's why it's looking so big, but I love the shape of it. And then look at that cord sticking out. Love, love, love. Adhered it here. Then I had this open space. So I came in with a large die of the month, the awesome pair of scissors. And I used this color, which is more of a 
copper colorway gold here this gold is a new golden wax bead dark gold metallic and then copper it's a lot of metallics and things but everything is softer because this is a matte foil this is a satin hot foil this is golden which is not super bright either everything has like muted out even the sentiment with the glimmer this is with matte gold hot foil roll so everything has a matte feeling the only thing shiny is the blade of the scissors because i needed to offer contrast from here to here and just something else oh i love this card so much because i think this one it's not over the top like this it's standing on its own and i'm loving it this way as well so this is what i was saying when you put the sentiment straight across it looks like a sentiment once you angle it you could angle it even more it starts looking like just a piece of flowing ribbon at least to me i don't know do you see it do you see what i'm talking about like here is just sentiment on a card because i angled it it's now looking like ribbon yeah i was having fun <laughs> but i just wanted to highlight that if you do get any of these clubs even this you can really accentuate it in a theme like this your sentiment itself is starting to look like fabric and flowing yeah i told you the more i played with it was the more i i had let go of it must be like this and then just started being like go oh fun 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 and right here it got crazy and i could have thrown it away like nope <laughs> just put that there then i was like i need a foundation dye which foundation dye would offer me the look this one could have worked the mirrored arch labels love that but i went into an old favorite that was also discontinued but back in stock this is label 17 on sale too this is a fabulous set especially for this theme it also worked so fabulous last month as well with the storytelling it's the bracketed edge with it that gives it the feel to work here and here yay <laughs> and on sale winner and brought back for one last time so if you missed it before and you love label 17 get her when she's on sale fabulous set you can layer it up twice like this but you see how because of that shape it gives that softness even on the example here it does it with the stitching too love 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 so this is from the throwback collection at spellbinders throwback collection i will put a link underneath here then for the throwback they're all past spellbinders dies brought back limited quantities so you can check out all these throwback goodness so that's what i used on this card then i finished this off with the gold gems i so love this i think what sets it off for me is just that angle and then this detail just offers texture in the back. So all these elements are just working together. Happy, happy. Love, 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 love. Up next, crafters, this is the stencil of the month. Rainbow floss background. With this stencil set, using all the elements, you get six rows of floss. You get that opposing color. Come back into this where you'll have light and shadow. You still get the label. This top part is like this, then down here is solid. What I did with this, that is gold pigment ink, and I use a little small pouncer and pounce the ink on. I did not blend it on, I pounced it. I also pounced on black pigment ink as well. Everything else though, I blended using um, Gina K ink, layered them up and had fun. Then came in with the glimmer of the month, so thankful, you are so amazing. Two sentiments from here with the coordinating dye. Large die of the month. Use the thread here. On my first example, I had cut it out, but it was just going to be too much. So I saved this piece in my craft stacks, shot my craft stacks, pulled it out, have the needle here. This one is in brush gold cardstock. And then this is a matte gold foil for the thimble. And to finish the card, I came in with one of my favorites, precision layering A and B. Both of these sets work together 16 dies in each and if you layer in between them you're going to get increments like this which is one eighth of an inch and one eighth of an inch total is one sixteenth one sixteenth you see here i have brush gold and then also black cardstock i cut the stenciled image then the gold then the black the stencil image and the gold is popped off of that black card base this one goes on sale put her in your wish list i had her in my wish list for a very long time finally bought her and i have not looked back since as a matter of fact i always say 
just do yourself the favor. Because once I started playing with it, I was like, oh gosh, I was so missing out. And yes, it's just a set of rectangles, but you can do a whole lot with them. From shakers, layers, frames, just fun, 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 fun with this. So I used it here. It helped me straighten out this image once I had ink blend because I start out big like this. When I am done, I cut out the image and that's when I usually bring this on. I use her also to straighten out a glimmer image, like a glimmer background or a better press image also. It can help you to straighten it out or really come in close to those edges. See how close I am to these two edges? Winner. Instead of using a trimmer. No, no, no. <laughs> After I finished it, I was like, this looks like it's still missing something. I came in with some pearls in a rainbow color. So I have to show you this because it's so much fun. This is by Honeybee Stamps and it's called Spring Pearls Pearl Stickers. And funny enough, every color that I had colored up here is in here. I brought this in after the fact, way at the end, but every color is here. So I just pulled out some yellow because it is rainbow colored and then the pink and the orange. There's that little bit of teal. Here is the blue and the purple. So I'm using all of them in here, just in little bits in here. I didn't go all over, but I think that just added a little element of fun with this whole rainbow thing. And you could bring this into here too. See how the colors work? Yay. All right, crafters, this is the last card I made. And it's also the card that features the bonus of the month. This is now four clubs. You see the vellum again. Underneath here, it's like a light peachy cardstock. And then I put the vellum on top, which really smooths everything out. This is white cardstock in the back. So you can see the difference in the colors. 3D embossing folder with vellum. So you see how it embosses fabulously with that heavyweight vellum. Next one is the bonus here, the pins and needles. I did so many thanks. This is on brushed gold cardstock. I think the brushed gold really does highlight. It gives the elegance with this type of sentiment where it has the cut detail in the sentiment. I think it works very well with the brush cardstock. See how pretty that is? On this, I'm still using the satin pastels. And then here, satin metallics, the dark gold is in the center that works so well with the brush gold. The last wax seal that I made was this color. This is velvet rose. Look how pretty and elegant this color is with this, with the cross stitch. Colored this inside with the gold and then just a little touch of silver, left the ring and left this outer piece just plain. This is a fabulous bag of beads. Love this velvet rose. So love. So I used all three examples. Normally I'd only use one. In this instance, I used all three and I'm so happy with each of them. Pop this up a few times. Then I layered this in like a fan. I thought, let me fan out the floss, put that sentiment, but then I had this space. So I came in large die of the month, did the thread which came across metallic foil cardstock. I believe all my foil I was using was the Anna Griffin foil. She just worked so well with this whole club too. And then here is the silver there for the needle, which comes back to this black and white. So it's like white cardstock with the black opaque hot foil roll on this better press of the month. So love. So I actually have not pressed this yet. So there's another opportunity still for me to come back in here and have fun. Once I better press it, then I would come in with the registration. Okay. So let's take a look at these wax seals. So you can see how different they are just by the wax seal beads only golden velvet rose. And then that mix so this is the only one that's mixed, but because the colors are so close together, you really don't see the mix in person. You can see it, but I'm loving every single one of them. This one, I didn't even bring on the fabric. I thought it was fine here in this instance like that. Finish this off with some gold gems. Okay, crafters. My goodness, I had a blast again with Kit Club this month. Eight cards and every single card looks completely different from the next. <laughs> I think the only two that are close is probably this with the diversion to the stencil, right? But everything else is like, whoa. And you could vary these two by putting elements, pure scissors, pins. You could do a card only with the scissors. You could then bring in the glimmer, do the background. I love that there's different backgrounds here to play with because this background looks completely different than this one. Two different embossing folders, but they're like same theme, 
but far apart enough that your cards will look completely different between them. Love that. This is a fabulous background that you can keep within the stitching and outside of. And then these flowers, you can just bring this in for all your stitching elements or you just want to add texture to your cards. And I love these flowers. They're just fun. So much so I kept on going, didn't I? I made eight flowers and they work within the set of leaves or bringing in something else as well. Even the clear stamp of the month is giving lots of fun and life. Love, 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 love. This is another <laughs> winning kit club. I had a ball and seven clubs crafters in this one. Love this card. My by far favorite. Okay, crafters, everything will be detailed and listed below. Don't forget, for new subscriptions, your window is April 6th to the 27th. Look on the Spellbinders YouTube channel for those little short videos where you can see everything put together. Also, I'm going to post pictures of this on Instagram in case you want to see stills of everything. But I had a fantastic time. I love this technique looking like suede so i have to put this one in my mental roster of techniques because this one i don't reach for but oh this is so worth having fun with let me know in the comments if you'd like to see how i did suede on paper i think the distress oxide is what's giving the suede look Alrighty, crafters until the next video thanks so much for watching i hope you love this april kit club the softer side of spellbinders i so love it Again, winning kit club. Love it. Okay, crafters, stay crafty, my friends. Bye.